Oh, hello! Welcome back to Computer Science. It's me, Mr. Carver. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't have anything fun, uh, no fun video uh, to start our day today. Just kind of me here in my normal empty classroom. Apologize about that. I'll try and get a better one going next time. I do want to spend a little bit of time though and tell you about what it is that we're going to do today. Well, in kindergarten, we are going to be doing something called Loops with Laurel. Laurel is a cave explorer, and we're going to go down to the caves and tell Laurel how to find diamonds and use loops to do that. Um, what, are you guys, what are you guys looking at? Okay. Uh, well, first grade, uh, you are going to do loops as well, and you're going to draw gardens with loops, so we'll practice more of our looping skills. I feel like you guys are looking at something. And there's nothing there. Just don't pay attention to my classroom. It's me. Um, Flappy Bird. We're going to do Flappy Bird in second grade. You get to make your own Flappy Bird design. And for Flappy Bird um, activity, that'll be kind of fun. Finally, in third grade, we're going to do an activity called Conditionals with Cards. You get to make your own uh, card game based on different conditions. Conditions are a computer science term that we're going to learn about. All right, well, again, just a boring classroom. I don't know what you guys are uh, looking at over there. Uh, but uh, next time, I'll have a more interesting video introduction for you to watch. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with computer science. Today we're going to work more with loops and with uh, this idea of how we can do something over and over and over again. Our loop level today is going to be loops with Laurel, this one here. And with Laurel, we have a diamond collector. This diamond collector is going to go down into a cave and find diamonds. But we have to tell her where the diamonds are at. So here's how this is going to work. Here is a diamond right here. Even though there's just three, you only need to find one. Just click, just get to this first one, okay? So I'm gonna use some east blocks here, east and east. And then I also have to tell her to get the diamond. Watch what happens when I push run. Oh, I don't beat the level because I have to tell Laurel that she's on a diamond and that she needs to pick it up. It's kind of like if you, maybe you've played the game Minecraft before. Has anybody played Minecraft? Well, in Minecraft, when you walk up to a diamond block, you have to actually tell your your person, Steve or Alex, you got to say, mine that block. You have to go and actually hit it. Steve or Alex would walk right by it if they didn't, if they, if they weren't told to stop and mine that diamond or the ore or the iron or whatever else you have. Well, the same thing happens here with Laurel. We have to actually tell Laurel, get to the block and mine that block. Get to the block and mine it. Good, there it is. On this one, we're gonna push the orange button that says finish so we can be done and move on to the next level. Let's take a look at this one. Oh my, let's get her to the first diamond and then let's tell her to pick it up and then we're gonna have to go to the next one because i have to get three diamonds not get all of the diamonds and pick it up and go again and pick it up when i push run she'll follow my directions and get all of the diamonds but sometimes i might be able to use a loop with Laurel, watch that video, and let's practice how we could use Laurel's skills here and our repeat skills here to get all the diamonds with only a few blocks. I'm gonna drag a repeat block out here. And what I want Laurel to do is I want her to go east and to collect the diamond. East, get the diamond. East, get the diamond. East, get the diamond. East, get the diamond. She's going to do these steps five times. Did you see how that mouth got bigger? Yeah, I can put as many blocks as I need into this mouth. I'm going to push run. East, east, 
East diamond, East diamond, East diamond. She did these two steps five times. Let's try this one. Oh my. This one says, I'm gonna push run to see what happens. Two, three, four, five. Oh, there's two things wrong with this puzzle. First, she does it too many times. I'm gonna click on the five and make it a four because I only wanted to do it four times because there was only four diamonds right there. But I know that there's another diamond here, but how do I get there? Well, I can't go east anymore. I have to go south now and get the diamond. So I can add these to the end to help Laurel get over here and then get down here. There we go. Here's another one with seven. Uh, this is the same idea. One, two, three, four. Let's use a loop. And let's go west and get diamonds four times. One, two, three, four. But I also need her to go which direction? South. I also need her to go south and get the diamond. Now I should be able to get all of them. There it is. We're gonna keep working our way through these puzzles today. I want you to try A and see if you can collect all the different diamonds that you can. How many diamonds can you get? I want you to see if you can get them all. We'll work our way through these puzzles and um, hopefully you'll get the good hang of loops. All right, I will see you next time. And remember, computer science changes the world and you get to be a part of that change.